Hello, everyone. How's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and look at us. We've got a amazing hat and outfit. We're just part of the town guard playing some Elden Ring, and oh, wait a minute. We are a tarnished caster who snuck their way into the round table. Now, in this round table, I haven't explored it yet. I'm uh, super excited to do so. There's people I can talk to, like this guy. And what I'm praying, I didn't think about this until after I was kind of just drinking it all in about what this might mean. This looks like it echoes the central hub of previous Souls games, you know, where the, the Candle Maiden was or the Eternals or whatever, um, the Immortals or whatever those meditating children were. And in those places, generally, you could buy... Uh, spells and other equipment that you were not easily able to get uh, at, at that point. And so I'm very, very excited to see if some of these characters I can speak to can give me some either new equipment or new spells. So let's check it out. All right. So here we are, and this person has uh, an amazing staff that looks like it's got a, a hand that's a claw that's clutching a skull, and then they are using their hand to clutch the skull that's on the inside. Now, that might just be a ball, like an orb. I don't know, but, you know, it looks like a skull. I can't see this person's face. I'm a bit intimidated. Oh, this is a rare occasion. It is rare. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. I made it. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Hmm. So this is another tarnished. Allow me a word of advice. As your senior. Okay, senior. You are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. Now, come on. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. I feel you. Remember your place, newcomer. Okay, I do, I'm remembering my place. Can I just have all these weapons that you have up here and maybe sell them for some runes back to you? Do you think that would be an equitable trade? There's nothing left to say. Be at your leisure. I'm at my leisure. I am reclining. Now, look at some of these swords up here on the table. These are much larger uh, and this side of grace is also enormous so there's a lot of grace here I like that hi can you see me you're turning to face me but you have a blindfold on are you looking for a pinata perhaps is this your birthday oh I see you've just arrived I made it welcome to the round table hold I'm Corin a man of the cloth I see that Corin incantation ah there it is strength granted us by the two fingers Incantations. the secrets of the Golden Order. Uh -huh. So that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. Uh, I see some grace, you, if you mean the lights. You do. Wonderful news. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. I see it. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation of the two fingers? Um, I'm interested. So we got uh, a gesture called prayer, which is great. I'm interested in learning the incantation of the two fingers. I also want to say this, my dude. I can help you remove that wagon wheel from around your neck as well as the manticle that is on your foot and even the blindfold. Uh, I don't know if you need to be doing this much penance, uh, but then again, I don't know what your past is. So if that's what makes you sleep at night, maybe who am I to deny you the right to wear that wagon wheel? It just looks a mite uncomfortable. I'm thinking of the splinters and... Well, yeah. Anyway, um, I'll, I'll I'll leave you to it. Study incantations. So I could get like an urgent heal, right? 
And this would require me to have uh, a device to cast incantations, like one of the relics or the rituals. And I don't, I don't have it. Uh, I wish I did, you know. So it also, I think maybe they would take a memory slot, and I only have two, and they're used for my sorceries. So. Uh, this is great to remember. In previous Souls games, I've played a caster that did carry a talisman and would do certain heals uh, just as another way to restore hit points. And I, I like put a little bit of points into it so I could do that. But I don't know how viable that is um, in this particular game. So I'm going to be like, thanks so much. I'm out. May the golden order shine through you. Thanks, buddy. I'm going to let it shine through you. Uh, whatever that means, okay? And we'll go over there in a moment. Let's see, what are you up to, dude? Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm new. I'm, well, just call me Dialos. All right. The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. Okay. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? No. She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment and she's good as gone. Okay. If you find her, please be sure to tell me. I will, dude. I like your armor. It's really nice. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman named Lanya. I do. She's a servant to my house. She's been my companion since childhood. I've lost count of the number of times I've had to find her like this. Okay. Honestly, she's such a little tomboy. Oh, okay. You've got some old notions of masculinity and femininity. We could talk about that later. Uh, let's see. Greetings. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. My name is Roderica. I should have told you sooner. Yeah, Roderica, you kept it. It's impressive though. It is nice. The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. Ah. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished had such fantastic roots. Although, it's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. I can see that. I'm glad you're here and not intent on being grafted by the spider. It's all a bit much for me, in truth. Okay. I'm still looking for my own purpose. That's cool. You know what? This fireplace is tremendous. Standing by it is great. Looks like you've got some of the tools necessary to maintain it. So I'll leave you to just have a blast and chill by the fire. Strong foe ahead. Didn't expect mage. Uh-oh. Is there some kind of... Am I going to get hurt here? I thought they said it was safe here. Jumping required ahead, but be wary of strong foe. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of blood stains down there, so... Maybe if you want to try to leave um, this place, you know, you get wrecked. I don't know if that was nice of me to destroy these vases. Let's see what we got here. We have a picture of a woman. It's a very large, dark picture. Uh, we have a picture of the golden tree there. That's quite nice. We have some banners hanging with sigils that I do not understand. I'm not jumping to my doom until I look for some kind of spellcaster. Uh, be wary of snake. <laughs> Look at that, uh, that emote is sweet. That ghostly gesture of them, like, being afraid of this statue is pretty funny. No legs ahead. Indeed, no legs. Oh, here's the, uh, is this the blacksmith dude? Looks like it. Wow. He kind of looks like some of the previous blacksmiths in his, like, grizzly dwarven face. But then the rest of his body is, like, scaled and barnacled. You're a new face. I am a new face. No matter. It's all the same. Awesome. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Let's get smithing. Um, ashes of War. With the Ashes of War menu, you can use Ashes of War to grant skills and affinities to your armaments at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be lost. By adding an affinity, you can alter an armament's 
attack affinity, boost attribute, scaling, and more. An armament's type determines what skills and affinities it can have. Some special armaments cannot be granted new skills or affinities using Ashes of War. Okay, so if I want to do this, um, I don't have an ash that could go on it. But I could put Ashes of War Determination, for example, on my short sword. What about my shield? I could put Storm Wall on this. And what would it do? It looks like it would let me use this ability, but it would cost 3 um, FP to do it. Okay. Um, Ashes of War Duplication. Alright, so if I wanted to duplicate this, any of these abilities, I would need some kind of Lost Ashes of War. I don't have it. Um, strengthen Armament. Can you strengthen this? No, he's just is like a regular smith in that respect. And maybe he can go beyond level 3, though, if I have the right stuff. And then, uh, Roderica. Yeah. She's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade. But she has a gift for spirit tuning. What? I saw another one like her long ago. Okay. Their eyes share the same hue. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that means, and I don't know what... I didn't think I brought her here. She was chilling in that shack. Um, what can I sell you? Oh, you'll just buy regular stuff. Okay, that's cool. So this is a dude I can sell. About the chains on your legs. Yeah, about those. Whoa, and your legs are intense. You're a, you're an interesting body type, like a barnacled sea dragon. I see you've noticed the chains. I noticed them. Nothing special. I'm a prisoner, and these are my chains. Okay. I'm trapped by the hole. I'm dying, smithing for you fools. That's terrible. That's all there is to it. Wow. Um, can't you just use your hammer to break those chains? You're a prisoner? No. Don't read too much into it. Okay. Well, no grudge against you. I hope not. My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Given time. Technique never fails. Mm. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. Uh, who are you talking about? I guess he's trying to forget it. Let's not bring it up. Let's just, like, let it drop. Sadness. Oh, does somebody want that sword? Yeah, that sword does look pretty sweet. It's like a buster sword. Nice. What's over here? I don't believe it ahead. Try gesturing, then praise the message. Okay. Um, good. Close. Uh, Alright, so I have to gesture. I don't actually remember how to gesture. Um, bow. I bowed. Uh... Wave. <laughs> um, point forward? No. Jump for joy. That's a pretty sweet one. Uh, what other gestures do I have? Wave, rallying cry, strength, warm welcome, bow, prayer. Rest, sitting sideways, dejection. What about prayer? Is that going to do it for me? No. Um, warm welcome? How's that? Hey, it's -a me, -a Mario. Okay, it didn't work. All right, well, I tried gesturing. I just don't either have the gesture or there's nothing to do. All right, what's down here? Oh, it's the larder. And some nice carpet. Ooh, fog? Wow, alright. Uh, liar ahead. Okay. Ladder ahead. I don't think so. I wish. Oh, no, there is. Ah, uh, too high up. <laughs> yeah, there is a ladder. It just doesn't work. That's funny. I mean, that's true. There's a ladder back here, but doesn't appear to do anything. That's fun. 
And there's another ladder back there. Wow, that ladder is behind the shelf. That's a painful location for that. I can't open this door, apparently. So, we can let that sit. What is this? Something incredible. Time for item. All right. Uh, let's... Can we... Oh, but I can't go through. Use the stone sword key. Oh, yes, I have the key. The stone sword key was lost with use. Oh, wow, it's the dining hall. This place looks fantastic. Yeah, now we're talking. Man, this was a feast. Uh, what a banquet they had here. Well, they really like these dark paintings. I mean, I can see what looks to be a king, but it's faded. Massively faded. Another nice fire. Got the poker in there. And here's the item, I guess. What's in here? Search that chest. The crepices black key crossbow and some bolts. Okay. Well, if I was looking for a crossbow, I'd be darn thrilled with it. Um, use the key. I don't have any. So you need to use another one. Okay. Well, I got to... I used my key and I got into here and I got the crossbow. And I can dine... This must be the house sigil of the Two Fingers. You'd think, like, with a house, or, like, with a name like the Two Fingers, you know, your sigil would be, like, a peace sign or a couple of fingers, maybe. This is, like, a lion. Okay, fine. Oh, please be the caster. Hi, lady, who are you? All right, let's see. Talk to her. Greetings, great champion called by grace. Hi. I am Fia. Hey, Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hall. Okay. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly. I don't know what that means. You might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout-heartedness. Are you Doing a... so will grant me the warmth of a champion. And you, I am sure will bear a baldekin's blessing. A baldekin's blessing. Vulgar, perhaps. Where I come from, it is a sacred act. Um, okay. Are you like a vampire? Ah, oh, my thanks, great champion. You're welcome. Aw, I'm like a... You are... A little baby. Very warm. And we got Baldekin's Blessing. Is this one of the ghostly ashes? Okay. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's Blessing. Okay. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. All right. Come back to me, should you require another. I, I will know. take you in my arms as often as you need. Free hugs from this lady. Thanks. Um, alright. I appreciate that. So she's got, like, very nice quarters. Books everywhere. Golden candelabra. She has a grate for her fireplace, like a, a safety gate. She has some privacy screens uh, for changing and bathroom usage. And here's a mirror. Oh, the dressing table. So I could change what I look like? Apply cosmetics. Um, oh, that's fun. You could, like, change your appearance if you wanted. That's kind of cool. So you're not locked in. It looks like you can change how you look if you feel like it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check in my inventory. What did I just get? I got this. Um, uses FP to temporarily boost poise. Oh, okay. So it's a consumable, and it will help you block or something? Eh, I probably won't ever use that, but... No, it's fine. Thanks. Alright, come on, spellcaster person. Where are you at? First off, fingers. Indeed. Is this where the... It's blocked shut. Oh, I gotta get the... 
the two fingers blessings I got I need a I'm maidenless as they say let's see what's over here tree yeah that's right there is the tree and another profile picture ooh this is the library this is a sweet little section you can read for days in here be wary of edge oh yeah there it is right there hi time for Fortnite. what do you want oh he won't talk to me all right so we got a new pose but he's like i ain't speaking with you i wonder if when they say be wary of oh my god it's more of these people hi um the twin maiden husks what do you sell purchase uh grants the blessing of an equipped great rune upon use when invaded requests the aid of a hunter always request for summoning from hunters uh, increases memory slots. Now, this is insane. I really need this so I can cast more spells. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Ooh, uh, there's a key, so we can get that to open the door downstairs. And uh, the rest of this is like knight armor. Take on an appearance of a host of fingers. That's funny. Um, sacred seal. Now, is this what you would use to cast incantations if you wanted? Interesting. Um, or maybe not. They don't sell anything magical, but this is good. Yeah, they got no sorceries, no incantations. Offer a bell bearing, no bell bearing to offer. I'm sorry, I wish I had that. Uh, let's see. What's this say? Dog. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. Um, what is with this? You don't have the right business. Meaning like what? I can't open the door? That's funny. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to go into item crafting. Or I'm sorry. Uh, inventory right away. And I'm going to use as many of these as I've got. This is all from when I raided the graveyard. And we get two grand right there. All right. Uh, let me use all of mine, actually. Use selected two. Yes. All right, there's 2,400. So now I'm at 5,000. And let's see. Uh, I have seven of these. Let me use uh, at least two of these right now to get to 6,000. I can't remember how much both of the items... Oh, never mind. I'm not there, but let's see how much these cost. Purchase. Uh, this is 4000 I don't think I have enough for that, but I do have enough for this. So I need uh, 4000 These give you 200 I think. And then I have six, five of them, so I'd get 1000 and I'd be up to 3300 which is not enough. So I'm not going to use any more uh, consumables of that kind do 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 yeah I just have to hold this and it gives me the bonus so it's just like on me and now I have three memory slots and I'm really pumped about that I don't have another spell to memorize alright dude you, you do your thing and just scare the dickens out of me Okay, let's see. Anything else? There's the incantation person. There's the fireplace. There's this guy who's like, you're too young, you stink. Um, fine. Alright. I'm gonna die uh, really fast and jump off the edge and see how difficult this foe really is. That they're talking about. Help me praise this message. Okay, right. Time for ranged battle. Indeed. Invaded. Oh, I got invaded? But this is a player that's invaded me. I mean, uh, a computer foe. Oh, 
Oh, he's doing magic on me too, though. That's not okay. He is very good at dodging. Too good. All right, that's bad. I think I'm going to have to use my arc spell because maybe it's harder for him to dodge it. Oh, he killed me in very quickly. Yeah, his somersault's a little bit difficult. Let's see if I can do it with my arc. I'm going to try another time, and if it seems, like, prohibitively difficult, um, I'm out. Okay. Hopefully I can get my body back on the balcony. No, I gotta jump down there. Boy, that's a shame. Well, these runes are gone then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to check my status. Okay, my status is full. Okay. Let's go. Oh, he can dodge that just as easily, huh? Uh, that is not what I intended. Oh, now he's doing something completely different. He didn't do this before. He was just coming at me. All right, the uh, <laughs> that fire pot did next to nothing to that guy. All right, good to know. Okay, so that guy is hard, and he's going to dodge my spell. There are some better spells that home in in previous souls much better than that one. And so maybe that's out there, but I'm just going to say that's a loss of those 2,000 and accept it, and I'm fine with it. All right, and so this is the smith over here, and I could go try to buy the next item. Let's see. We are going to memorize a spell, and we don't have any new ones. So we're just going to go back and, uh, let's see, leave. And let's go ahead and teleport. Um, I'm at the Table of Lost Grace, and I'd like to kind of teleport to the other sites of grace that I have found. Uh, right. And so I could go to, like... Over here, Cave of Knowledge, Stranded Graveyard, Stormhill Shack, I think, is where... Boy, is that the closest place that I found? No. Let's see where this takes me. I think what I want to do is just uh, port into here. And then... Yeah, this is where that lady was in the first place when I first found her. Talking about the spider. But she's probably gone from here, right? Oh, and she left something. Oh, she left a golden seed behind. Well, that was very kind of her. See, that's fantastic. So let's use that immediately. And, um... Do-do-do. Now that I think about it, 2,000 souls, I should have just leveled up. Uh, with And before I lost those souls, that's a mistake. Okay, let's go ahead and... Flasks. Add charge to the flask. Yes. Not enough golden seeds. Oh, does it take more? Maybe it takes more golden seeds at this point. I thought I just got a golden seed. I do. Um, but maybe I, maybe at this point you need uh, two golden seeds or something. Fine. I need two. Where am I on the map? I'm here. So what I did last time was I rode like all the way around until I got to this is where I was the lake facing cliffs 
And so let's try to go to the front gate and see how that plays itself out. Um, yeah, let's just see if we can ride around this and kind of... Uh, I don't know if this is the way or if I need to go up top to get there. one of those choir materials. Yeah, give me the herbas. Jump, jump. All right. And where am I on the map? Yeah, I think I can get there going this way. Maybe. Let's find out. Nothing better than explode. Oh, my God. Jellyfish. We've got jellyfish incoming. All right. Let's get Pebble. Uh-oh. They are coming. They've turned red. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. I gotta get off the horse. I don't know if I should be fighting these jellyfish, but they look sinister. They don't give you very many souls, though, so that seems to be an indication that you might not want to. What do these notes say? Lovable sort. Oh, lovable sort. Therefore, behold, <laughs> lovable sort. Okay, okay. Maybe I shouldn't fight them. Maybe that was a mistake. Be wary of skeleton. Oh, all right, I will. Usually jellyfish are, are sinister enemies in games like... Okay, here he is. Look, he's coming out of the ground. How dare you? But what did he... Oh, what's that? What's going on? Oh, he's, is he coming back? Wait, does this guy never die? We might have a problem here. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's going to die. All right, so then I got to just run in and get whatever this is. A smithing stone. I'll take it. Uh, oh. Yeah, the jellyfish are angry at me now that I did... I killed their buddy. So I did get a smithing stone, which is tremendous. One more would be perfect. I wonder if I take this dude out of the graveyard, if he still possesses the power of resurrection when he's beyond... Um, yeah. No, we didn't get him. I was going to say, if he's beyond the graveyard, maybe he can't keep coming back. Maybe he has to be within the confines of the grave to use that power, but that doesn't seem like it's a thing for him. That guy seems like he gets up no matter what. And I don't like that. Not one little bit. Mm -hmm. We got some fruit. Oh, more jellyfish. Some jellyfish hostile, some not hostile. Let's not fight them. Let's see if they'll just be chill if I uh, just kind of ride through. More skeletons. Okay. All right, so we got some ashes. That looks nice. There's a red jelly. Red jelly no likey. Oh, okay. I, I I was not intent. Oh God, I'm stuck. All right, get that. That was not what I wanted. All right. Okay, where am I on the map? What happened? Oh, can I not pull up the map because I'm in combat or something? Oh, fiddle dee dee. Oh, here we are. We're back here. Well, I made a nice little circle, but you know what I got with that circle? Some ashes and a smithing stone. Terrific, indeed. All right, so we got a smithing stone. We got ashes. We got killed by a guy at the round tree, and we got another memory slot, which is probably our best gain. We got a, a golden seed, 
And we were able to talk to everybody at uh, the round table and get some more information. And I'm going to rest up. And I think this is a good place to end the episode. I'm going to try to go around and get to the front of the castle next time. Everyone, thanks for watching. I hope your Elden Ring adventure is going beautifully. Take care.